Hey, this is Adam Torres, and I'm here to tell you that it has never been easier to start your very own podcast. At Mission Matters, our goal is to amplify stories that matter. That means we want to help you start your podcast because your story matters. We can do this in three different ways. One, join our podcast school and take a free or paid course. Two, visit our resources page where we've already figured out what you need, such as where to host your podcast. Or three, heck, we can even do everything for you through our podcast agency, including editing for cheaper than you can do in-house. Oh, and no contracts, services month to month. Get started by heading over to missionmatters.com and click on Start a Podcast. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Breen Murphy on the line, and he's Director of Client Experience over at EP Wealth Advisors, which is a Barron's Rank Top 50 RIA. Um, Breen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Adam. I, I, I really appreciate it. Oh, man. So excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk about the benefits of process mapping, which I know is something that you're very passionate about. So I'm excited to get your take on this. Um, but before we do that, just to give the audience a little bit of a background, um, tell us a little bit more about EP Wealth Advisors, please. Yeah, I, I'd be happy to. So EP Wealth Advisors, uh, you know, we specialize in financial advice that, that is aligns with people's goals. And that will include you know, personalized financial planning, you know, we, we have a like an organized um, personal financial website. It gets people along the line where they can see their, their total net worth. It, it gets into, we offer tax preparation. Um, we have an estate planning uh, side of it as well as in, in investment management. Um, but we're, we're really interested in that like real holistic picture about you know, how can we really help somebody around achieving their goals from a financial perspective? So, you know, you know we have a specialty in small business owners. Um, so how that would look is like a lot of small business owners don't really think about their, their business and personal finances as being integrated. And so we'll evaluate, you know, both of those things um, and come up with strategies um, that, again, may align with their, their overall goals um, that can look at like succession planning. And there's a bunch of different places that that may apply, um, you know, divorcees, um, it could be executives, um, but it really ends up being a, a, a process that allows us to tailor it to the individual. That's awesome. Um, great stuff there. And uh, so, Breen, I do I do want to switch up a bit. So I do want to go further into today's topic. So I know there's something that you're really um, passionate about. So the benefits of process mapping. I mean, that's a big topic. Some of the um, some of the listeners may be aware of it or, or have some experience with it. Some maybe not. So where do you want to start with this topic? Yeah, for sure. Um, so what I would say about process mapping is there there are a number of different like names for it. Right? You might hear like uh, like a customer journey, or you may might hear like sales enablement, um, but it's basically looking at like like the fundamentals of the relationship you have with with your your customers, your clients, um, your consumers, and then just making sure that you have an understanding of all those touch points, and then aligning it with your organizational capabilities, right? So. You know, there's there's four key components that that we look at in actually creating a process map that sits in front of employees. So it allows us allows them to see like the big picture. Um, we start with like what is that that customer or client insight during that specific situation. Um, what are the processes we, you know we need to be addressing um, in that service to make sure that we address the needs there, and then what are the support tools that we have to fit in that process. And then the, the fourth thing is like, what is our rationale? What is our motivation? Um, because we're really trying to get into, you know, how, how does that, um, you know, connect where you're at? Um, so I, I would say like, that's, that's the big, the big picture of what process mapping is. Um, and one of the things that, that I, why I'm really passionate about it is um, you hear so many people, like there's famous speeches from like, Steve Jobs talking about, 
designing things around the consumer experience. And a lot of times we talk about it um, from a product perspective, how we use it, usability. Um, but I think sometimes we don't talk about it as much when it comes to services, right? Um, mm -hmm. And EP Wealth Advisors, you know, we are a service industry. We're trying to help our clients. We have, a, you know, relationships with them over long periods of time. We're really trying to make sure that, you know, they're making the right financial choices or, or the, the prudent financial choices um, that align with their goals, right? And so in doing that, um, you know, there there's some aspects to it that have been really helpful for us, right? And so, you know, that's one of the things that we were talking about was, Aligning your 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 best um, you know performers in your in your company, right? You know, so for mm -hmm. us, that's going to be like a financial advisor, right? And like looking at how are they addressing those needs the best? You know, um, going back to that process map. What are those insights? What are those needs in the process to address that? And what that does, you know, is it oftentimes can um, unlock the way some of your best performers have a conversation around addressing those needs. And as, and as you get into that, um, it, it, it can potentially align departments and, and their differing goals, right? Like any, any sort, of, sort of company is going to have a slightly different approach um, and, and each department is going to have slightly different goals. But if you start to integrate those um, across the department, got, like garnering feedback along the way, um, at an EP Wealth Advisors, I find myself very fortunate because I get to work with um, um, people that, that have been really collaborative and really smart um, on this. And so uh, it allows you to align a lot of the departmental goals. Um, and then there's things that are um, really valuable that end up coming out of that. Because now that you have, um, you know, the, the, like the best practices from some of your, you know, your best performers, and you have aligned department goals. It allows for things like, you know, whenever you onboard somebody new, you can train them like really diligently and specifically on how to do things your company's way. You know, um, we are also like acquiring um, a lot of uh, other financial advisor firms. Um, and so it gives us a context for the people to see like, oh, this is how we do something. Right. Um, and so it, 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 you know, it can just set a better level of communication across the board. Um, and we're also in an industry that's highly regulated. Uh, so there's an even greater level of value to it because it can set the compliance standards um, as well. Um, and, you know, I have, like, I'm very fortunate. I have a good relationship with my, my uh, chief compliance officer, but it's like, there's a reason why his, his goals and, and, and the departmental value that he has, need to be integrated into these processes, right? So it's like making sure, you know, our teams are as compliant as possible. Um, so we're delivering like that, you know, that, that great client experience um, as we can. And, you know, for us, you know, I watched this, you know, work with, with financial advisors and then take it to the depart the department level. You know, our, our compliance officer, his name is Mario Shaleen, he, you know, he was really great. Um, our, our head of financial planning, uh, Erin Voisin, she, like, she was really instrumental in helping us come up with processes that, you know, integrated into, like, how we address clients and deliver our financial plans. Um, you know, our head of it, like, you know, our, we have two heads of investing, you know, uh, Kevin Ashworth and, and Adam Phillips. They were really great talking about, like, what are the needs from an investment perspective. Um, you know, we have uh, the, the operations and administrative side and a lot of the data. Um, and so, like, as we worked across that, um, we had this, like, this team kind of come together and build something that started with the client's needs, right, is really designed about that, you know, the classic design thinking um, that, like, builds into what our core capabilities are at. And sets up for something that becomes repeatable. And then the thing that I, I like to have that, that marketing and advertising background is, is more of a brandable experience, something that we can really speak to and separate, um, as we continue to grow and become more familiar. Um, and so we can just be laser focused. Um, and so I feel really grateful, you know, for that work, but I'm also really passionate because I feel like, you know, it's something that I wish I would have embraced more at my, at my old job at, 
in advertising. I was trained to do this for other companies, but now I see like what this could have done and unlocked for, for our advertising company before, right? Because we did it for other people and I was trained in it, but we didn't do it for ourselves. And I just, I just recognize this value as it, it is something for anybody that's building a business. Um, because it can apply in so many different ways, you know, even the way, you know, even the way like you podcast, right. It can help deconstruct how you, you Adam Torres can podcast. Um, so there's, no, that's there's awesome. a, it's just, yeah, it's just like, um, it's not something that a lot of people talk about. Um, but I, I I'm just a big believer in the I No, I, yeah, I totally yeah. get it, and I get where you're coming from, and I mean, it just, I mean, it just makes sense. Um, so, and, I, and you're right; it's one of those things that we talk about. And again, you you name multiple, um, multiple different ways that people could look at it, but how many of us actually do it? Think about that client journey. And so, over here, like with our podcast agency and the things we do, um, we count the clicks. Like we count the clicks, all of our customer experience and journey, all of that. We count the clicks on how does somebody get booked for a podcast? How how does their email look like? How does the follow look like like how simple is right. it for somebody to understand what we're doing and that's taken thousands of interviews i've done i go approaching three thousand interviews for us to get our process down right. our distribution of content all those things down and um and the, the biggest the biggest idea or the biggest thing is is if the person that's on the other side or that's consuming our content or if somebody else is looking at that and says oh that's easy I could do that or oh look at that that's and I want to do that I mean that's our ultimate win to make it look easy and uh, and I think that's yeah. the goal and I think that's what the the goal of a great company like EP Wealth Advisors also is doing is they're trying to make their client experience and you're making your client experience feel like you know they they your clients belong there like this is easy this feels good this this is where I want to. This is where I want to be. Right. This is where, who, a company that I want to work with. And the amount of thought and effort that goes in on the back end to do that, the amount of brain power and the amount of like just to for, to create that experience, it's well worth it. Because long term, I mean, that's how you have those those advocates that then refer, and then it's just, it yeah. creates a great scenario also for the um for the employees too and the people that are working there day to day. Because it's so it's win win on both sides. Because if there's a monkey yeah. wrench in that whole cog or that whole machine for anything, it's just headaches for everybody so the better it can be designed and created i mean the better for all players yeah. concerned yeah. so i mean I, I love it brain so that being said you know what the thing if is, some, the thing is mm-hmm. it, it, there's one more thing that i think is really really great about it is it, it, it's 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 living and breathing and so what it provides you an opportunity if you're really using it is to see the choke points and the weak spots with an increased level of clarity right like if you're going through the process so we, you know, at EP Wealth Advisors, we just updated um, our onboarding process because we had been working on it, you know, for a while. And we were, like, you know, uh, you know, Steve Beals, he's our, our uh, chief administrative officer, um, Elena Israel. Uh, they were looking at this and they were seeing that there were, there were, like, choke points in this onboarding around paperwork. And we were able to, like, split up a couple of things, you know, and... You know, from my point of view, like I, I, I'm not usually the person coming up with the, the solutions, but it helps. Like this framework helps integrate everybody's solutions, um, and that's the thing that I like. It, it gets like all the best thinking from everybody and helps you identify problems and continue to solve them as they come up. That's awesome. So, Breen, that being said, um, first off, I can talk to you about this all day long, but we're about out of time for this episode. So if somebody's listening to this and they want to connect to learn more about either EP Wealth Advisors or to connect with yourself in general, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, um, you know, you can reach out to me on my email at uh, bmurphy at epwealth.com. Um, you can Google me, you know, find me on LinkedIn or uh or epwealth.com. I have a bio there that you know connects directly to my profile. Um, so any of those things are great. I'm really passionate about talking about process mapping and, and this sort of thing. So if you have any questions for me, like I'm always helpful, like happy to, to answer them. 
Fantastic. Well, Breen, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about uh, your background, all the great work you're doing over at EP Wealth Advisors, and also about the benefits of process mapping. So lots of helpful info you gave there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review in the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Breen, thanks again for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me.